성경은 전혀 우리 상황에 맞지 않게 말씀할 때도 많습니다. There are many times the Bible speaks about things that are completely opposite of our situation. 어, 지금 겨우 어, 죽느냐 사느냐 하는 아브라함에게 어, 세계 복음화를 말씀하셨습니다. That God spoke about world evangelization to Abraham who was on the brink of life and death. 도저히 이 상황이 안 맞는 말씀이었습니다. And those words did not match his situation at all. 네, 그런데 하나님은 역사를 움직여서 아브라함의 손자가 세계 복음 하도록 만든 겁니다. However, God moved history so that Abraham's grandson would do world evangelization. 여러분이 전혀 힘이 없는데 어떻게 내가 세계 복음을 한단 말이냐? And you are powerless, and you may wonder how can I do world evangelization? 나는 지금 생활하기도 어려운데. I'm barely able to make a living. How can I do world evangelization? 자, 이렇게 되어지니까 이스라엘은 재앙을 일곱 번 입었습니다. But because of that, Israel faced disasters seven times. 그 중에 어려움 없이 이 응답을 받은 사람들이 나왔어요. But among them, there were those who received this answer without any hardships. 네, 그 사람들은 두 가지를 깨달은 겁니다. And those people realized two things. 하나님께서 처음부터 그리스도를 보내겠다 약속하셨어요. That from the beginning God promised to send the Christ. 예, 흑암 근세를 깨뜨리는 그리스도를 보내겠다. He would send the Christ that would break down the forces of darkness. 예, 쉽게 말하면 뱀의 머리를 깨는 여자의 후손을 보내겠다. Simply put, He would send the offspring of woman who would bruise the head of the serpent. 전 세계가 재앙에 빠지는데 방주와 같은 the entire world is facing a disaster, so he will send salvation like the ark. He promised salvation. That he would rescue us from darkness. But it wasn't just this that he promised. He promised one more important thing. To those who realize his covenant, he gave the greatest promise in the Bible. He would work upon them with the blessing of the throne. It's this. These two promises are the greatest promises in the Bible. You can't do it by your power, and so I will be with you with the power that transcends time and space and moves the world, which is the blessing of the throne. 자, 예수님께서 부활하시자마자 약속하셨어요. And Jesus promises as soon as he resurrected. 네, 하늘과 땅의 모든 권세를 내가 가졌다. And I have all authority in heaven and on earth. 너희와 항상 함께하겠다. And I will be with you always. 또 마가복음 16장 마지막 절에도 보면 보좌에 앉으신 주께서 그들과 함께 역사하셨다고 그랬어요. And even the last verse of Mark 16, the Lord who is seated on the throne of heaven was with them. 예, 스데반이 마지막 시간을 예, 순교를 당할 때도 보좌에 예, 서 계신 그리스도께서 이, 이, 이 and it's recorded that during Stephen's last moments before martyrdom, the Lord was standing at the throne of God. This is everything. And so the most important thing is for this blessing of the throne to come upon me. That's my 24 hours. 여러분이 이 보좌의 축복이 언제 크게 임하는 거 하니까 모여서 예배할 때. And when does this blessing of the throne greatly work upon us? When we gather to worship. 교회 이십삼입니다. That is the church twenty-four hours. 정말 복음 가진 복음만 전하는 교회가 모여서 기도할 때 보좌의 축복으로 역사하시겠다고. That when the church who proclaims only this gospel gathers together for worship, God promises to be with them with the blessing of the throne. And what is the last? And God will be with your finances with this blessing of the throne. 
that we call this field 24 hours. That these are the three promises in the Bible. That the promises of being with us with the blessing of the throne are three. And you can't do it by your power. You don't have the ability to do that, but God promised to be with you with the power of the throne. And God be with you in the church where you worship with the blessing of the throne. And the church that only enjoys this will unconditionally succeed. We call that 24 hours. We worry, really, we really worry about our finances, but God will truly restore the economy of life. And so these three things are the promises of the Bible. And always pray this and enjoy this in prayer. It's simple. 자, 그러면, 되지면은, then if we enjoy this blessing, then we can uncover three very important things. 첫째입니다. First of all, 뭘 발견하는 거 하니까 도대체 무엇을 기도하란 말이냐? Then what can we uncover? What is it that he wants us to remember? 먼저 응답받을 기도가 뭐냐? Then what is a prayer by which you can receive answers first? 먼저 응답받을 기도는 세 가지입니다. There, there are three things to this kind of prayer. 그 첫째가 뭡니까? And what is the first? 성삼위 하나님께서 오력으로 우리에게 역사하고 있습니다. That the Lord is working upon us with the five powers as the triune God. 보좌의 능력 아홉 가지로 역사하고 있습니다. And he is working upon us with the nine blessings of the power of the throne. 그래서 우리 예배하는 이유가 나옵니다. So that's the reason why we worship. 교회를 통해서 굉장히 세 가지 시대를 바꾸는 역사를 하십니다. That through your church, God will work upon us to really change the three ages. 이게 먼저입니다. This comes first. 자 이게 되어지니까. And when this takes place, what follows? That we can break down this, Genesis 3, 6, and 11. 사단이 만드는 3장, 6장, 11장 이게 무너진단 말이에요. That Genesis 3, 6, and 11 with Satan made, we can break that down. 이때부터 응답이 오기 시작하는 겁니다. And from this point on, answers begin to come. 이게 나에게 나타나고 교회에 나타나는 겁니다. And this is revealed in me and in the church. 대단하죠. Then it's amazing. 이게 내 산업에서 삼룡 이게 무너지는 겁니다. And so Genesis 3, 6, and 11 is broken down in our businesses. 그래서 가장 먼저 내게 오는 응답이 뭡니까? And so what's the very first answer that comes to us? Those who remain. It doesn't matter where you are. Why? Because you had the blessing of the throne. This is prayer. There aren't many people who know prayer, but if you know prayer, absolutely the works will take place. And ultimately, you can go out to save the world. That you are a pilgrim. And in particular, you are going to, you are going down this road with a lantern. That in one way, you are a moving watchtower. And so you become a conqueror that completely overcomes the forces of darkness. That you enjoy this first. Then your eyes open to see something very important. You can see the way. That you're on your way to enjoy this blessing, so now you can see the way. What way? That for Moses, what kind of path was shown? That what he heard from his mother, that was a message that appeared after 400 years. Then you think it will work or not? So you must remember. Many 
That many churches have not proclaimed the gospel. We saw that Moses, he restored this covenant after 400 years. That you need to uncover this. This is not arrogance. I'm not saying that our religion is right and that your religion is wrong. This is not saying that our denomination is right and that you are wrong. And so realizing this, a tremendous time schedule follows. That passing through 14 judges, they could not overcome Felicia. At that time, they thought this is not a problem about Felicia. Gather to Mizpah. That was Samuel. This is not an issue of Felicia. And David directly went in front of Goliath. Then simply put, what is it? That you can now see the time schedule for seeing that way. And because they realize this, they can really serve and even go to martyrdom. And so all those listening to the message here, all those listening to the walkers, this time schedule will come. That before my conscience, I can honestly say that after the religious reformation, for the past 500 years, the gospel has continued to fade. Then I know that all of you have your various IQ levels, but when other people were trying to evangelize, when other people, I did not want to do that at all. I didn't want to pass out evangelism tracts. Because by my IQ, I didn't see that pastor as just passing out evangelism tracts. He was struggling to make a living, struggling to make his church grow. That's not evangelism then. In a time where the gospel really was fading, when Martin Luther spoke, the entire world was turned upside down. At this time, the important answer comes to enjoy this blessing of the throne. What kind of answer? With Emmanuel oneness. With Emmanuel oneness. This answer comes. What's the second thing that follows? That you can form the only uniqueness recreation system. And from this point on, because it belongs to the throne, you can see 24 hours, 25 hours, and eternity. Undoubtedly. These are not my words, so unconditionally begin this prayer. Pray so that this blessing can come upon your business. Then you can see number two. And ultimately, what else can you see? You can see the 230s of nations, healing, and the summit, but you don't just see them. These existed from the past. You're not just seeing them now. You can see how we can make all of the offline preparations for online services. That we're using more of this word contact free because of this pandemic, but it existed from the beginning, and people already made all the offline preparations for that. We now begin to see this. And so, if it's not the power of the throne, it's impossible. At this time, we see a, a very important base or standard. These are not my words, so look carefully at the Bible. And see what kind of base was shown within history. Yeah. 
17절입니다. When they came out of Egypt in Exodus chapter 24 verse 17. 이때 중요한 말씀이 나왔어요. At this time very important words were given. 70인 장로라는 단어가 나옵니다. That it talks about the 70 elders. 이 사람들이 여기 이제 주 얘기입니다. Then they were the main figures here. 성경을 보다 또 이제 거의 다 나왔을 때 민수기 11장 16절입니다. And also in Numbers chapter 11 verse 16. 그게 무슨 단어가 나오는 거니까요. 70인 유사 나옵니다. Then here it says the 70 leaders. 이 세계는 굉장히 중요한 얘기죠. And these three things are very important words. 그 다음에 승리를 도우면은요 사사기 8장 30절에 나오죠. And also if you look in Judges chapter 8. 사사 시대 벌어지니까요. It was the age of Judges. 여기에 뭐가 나오는 거니까 여룹바알의 아들 70인 나옵니다. That talks about the 80 sons of Jerubbabel. 이들이 뭐 게다가 뭐 비참하게 죽게 되죠. And not realizing they died a pitiful death. 왕하 10장 1절에도 이 바알이요 70인 아들을 세워 파송하는 게 나옵니다. Then even if you look in 2 Kings chapter 10 verse 1, we saw that they commissioned out these 70 sons. 에스겔 8장 11절에도 보면은 아주 중요한 말씀이 이 예언 중에 환상 중에 70인 장로가 향로를 들고 있는 내용들이 나옵니다. Also some very important words in Ezekiel 8 verse 11 in the midst of a vision he talks about how the 70 elders are holding on to the incense censers. 자, 예수님께서 오시자마자 누가복음 10장 1절에서 21절에 70인 전도인을 세워서 파송해 놓습니다. And as soon as Jesus came, he raised up 70 evangelists and commissioned them in Luke 10, 1 through 20. 이 사람들이 어디에 포함되어 있는 거니까 사도행전 1장 1절 15절 속에 포함돼. And these people, they are included in Acts chapter 1 verse 1 through 15. 예, 이 사람들이 중직자로 세운 거라. And these people were raised as church officers in Acts chapter 6. 큰 문제 터지니까 전혀 흔들리지 않고 이 사람들이 and when a great problem arose, they weren't shaken at all. They raised the Antioch church in Acts chapter 11. 그 어떤 일이 마지막 헤로당 불러갈 때도 하나님이 보좌의 축복을 나타내도록 누린 겁니다. And even when Lord took Herod's life, we saw that God made the blessing of the throne appear upon these elders. 다음입니다. This is everything. That when we say 24 hours, we're not saying that you're literally praying 24 hours a day. 필요 없는 거안 하고요. Not knowing the unnecessary thing, you just hold on to the covenant and the works arise. And God will lead your businesses to the economy of light. Isn't that so? That if you don't realize, then God will might give you a little bit of hardship so you can realize, but he will lead you to the economy of light. And you will seize the world as well as seize the economy of darkness with the economy of light. And so that you can do that, you will absolutely do that. God will prod you to do that. When things are very serious, he might send you as a slave. The one is even more serious, he might send you as a captive there. That when it became even more serious, God scattered all the Israelites who had this gospel. But ultimately, he wants to give them this. That God's covenant does not change. So you don't have to worry at all. It is a time to enjoy this blessing. So it is my 24-hour throne. I'm talking about the blessing of the throne that has come upon me 24 hours. And the blessing of the throne that appears upon us when we worship the 24 hours. And ultimately, the 24 hours of having the blessing of the throne appear upon your business, upon your workplace, upon your job. Then three answers will come. They will come, and how will they come? The 70 worker movement will arise in your business. In all of your churches, according to the position given to you, you'll be able to go into the 70 region and do a movement there. 
보좌의 축복을 타고 세계화 되는 사람이 여기서 나와요. And I'm talking about having globalization through these people through the blessing of the throne. 아무것도 안 되는 사람 많아요. And there are many people where nothing is working for them. 마지막 운동으로 하나님이 70 지역 세계화 운동이 나와요. But as the final movement, God's going to bring about globalization through these 70 worker disciple ministry. 여러분이 이 축복을 반드시 받고 어, 가야 돼요. And so you must absolutely receive this blessing before you go. 죽을 때가 되는데 안 죽는 사람들은 우리 편으로 오래 산다는데 하나님 입장에서는 오래 사는 게 아니고 이거 하고 오라고 이렇게. And those who are living a long life, we're saying, oh, they're blessed with a very long life, but God actually wants them to do this before they die. 여러분이 하나님의 사람이라면 반드시 이 축복 받아요. And if you are a person of God, then you must absolutely receive this blessing. 이번 원단 메시지는 어, 여러분이 에, 평생 최고로 누리면 됩니다. And this year's New Year's message, you must enjoy this always and for the rest of your lives. 하나님의 약속입니다. Because it's God's promise. 그래서 제 같은 경우는 진짜 24. And so for me, really, it's 24 hours. 이 기도만 합니다. Just praying to this. 나에게 이 축복이 임하게 하옵소서. May this blessing come upon me. 나, 나에게 이 사람들을 움직일 수 있도록 축복해 주옵소서. Bless me so I can move these kinds of people. 이게 또 24. It's this prayer 24 hours a day. 아주 건강을 위해서요. 저는 호흡에 맞춰서 이 기도합니다. Then to maintain my health, I pray this prayer matching my breathing. 덜숨 때, 날숨 때. Then when I inhale and when I exhale, then it really improves your health. 어, 여러분, 아픈 분들은 또 암, 아른 경험인 사람들은 꼭 그렇게 하셔야 돼요. And those of you who are sick or those who have had cancer, 해보세요. you must do it this way. Try it. 어, 나이 드신 분들, 반드시 그렇게 해야 돼요. And those who are older, absolutely try this. 그리고 쉽게 말하면 여러분들 조금 기운, 산소, 호흡이 짧아서 암세포는 여러분 지금 공격하고 있습니다. 병원에 가서 드러났을 때는 And simply put, if your breathing is very shallow and you're lacking energy, it means that you're already being attacked by cancer cells. Once people find that, then it's already too late in the hospital. And the blessing of the throne should rightfully come upon you, but right now, other things keep on going into your soul. Then that's so dangerous. People's thoughts, people's noise, all that continues to go in. But we have to continue to plant this in through prayer. That's all you need. But there aren't many people who know prayer. If you know prayer, absolutely the works will arise. Then the rest will follow. That your studies, God is bound to answer it so that you can make the seven disciples and have globalization. That God will make your business to raise up the seven disciples towards globalization. And the evidence of that are these Bible verses. Then let's take a look. Then Elder Jethro. I think about it, his business was tending sheep. But what happened? Absolutely, this arose. That from within that came seven disciples, from within that came Moses, and even Rahab. And this was also fulfilled through Rahab. While they were doing this in the introduction. So don't lose hold of this at all. And so think about it. With the blessing of salvation and throne, you were doing these three things. Then absolutely the rest will follow. I'm so poor. That's nothing to boast about. And it's not even your wrongdoing. But if you're poor to the extent where it's difficult to do the gospel movement, then that's something to think about. And yes, we can be poor. But if you're always poor down to the generation, that's something to think about. That being born poor is not your responsibility. But dying poor is your responsibility. 
We need to receive this. Is that so? Real answers. That I have assurance, really have great expectations of this. I'm giving you evidence right now. That while David was on the run, there were hidden disciples. These people were enjoying this blessing, and then by meeting David, they enjoyed greater blessings and did world globalization. People like Obadiah. That Obadiah's business, it really enjoyed the mystery of globalization as well as the 70 disciples. And people that enjoyed this blessing were Daniel and his friends. Daniel was enjoying this blessing, always. Daniel 6, verse 10. Daniel 6, verse 10. In Daniel 6, the king says, that the God whom you constantly serve will save you. And it also records this. And as he had previously done. There's nothing to fear. As he had previously enjoyed this blessing, he continued in that manner. He was just grinning and bearing it and praying. He was enjoying the amazing blessing on the throne that was incomparable with anything else. This is a standard of measurement for your business. Let's look at the evidence in the Bible. Especially Priscilla and her husband, Philemon, Philemon, Gaio, Gaius, Gaio. And, and especially Gaius. He was a host to all the church. That's not an easy thing, isn't that so? That he was a host to all the church, to all the evangelists. This is the economy of light. And this is the world evangelization that you have received. And the world evangelization take place through Gaius? It did. I think about it, Gaius was from long ago, yet we still talk about him today. That we're holding on to that record. Undoubtedly. And so unconditionally do this in our introduction. Don't do anything else, just this. When you go to church, you'll get confused. There'll be worldly noise, people noise, incorrect noise. And so don't listen to that. But what about all those problems? It doesn't matter. No matter how many hardships surround you, it doesn't matter. Because tremendous answers, renewal, and mysteries are there. So just do this. And so even now, there are things that you're going to face. How should you bring that to an end? Unconditionally, God's plan, God's uh, answer, and God's um, renewal and opportunity are there. Then as you continue to pray, this blessing continues to come upon you. That these three things are the introduction, but also the conclusion. And when you worship at church, this blessing continues to come upon you. And then to your business. It appears there. For the church, it is the apostles or the pastors. And then the church officers. And in the remnants and the assistant pastors. It's these three systems. The 
that you have to find the 70 disciples through that. 없어요, you don't need permission from the church to do this. You go 그렇죠. out to your region and you're raising 70 disciples there, no one's going to say anything against that. And at that, that time, if the church doesn't realize, then take those people and form your own church. And if the church does realize, then continue what you're doing. 70. The 70 workers. All the assistant pastors grab hold of this covenant. And we've got our many assistant pastors here. We're not doing things to be highly regarded in front of man. But when we're being mocked, that's a little different story. It was when I was an assistant pastor and I was at the Busan Chuang Church, and there were many successful elders there. And they looked at the assistant pastors as if they were looking at their slaves. At that time, I didn't fall into any trials because of that. That it really made me come to my senses. And this is our fault as pastors. Isn't that so? To say that the church officers look down on the pastors and consider them to be like slaves, that's our fault. That perhaps my logic sounds a little bit strange, but if you listen well, it'll benefit you. I found every of my every one of my answers there. There I uncovered this Tarakbang evangelism movement from the Bible. And from there I realized how to do school evangelization. Because this was not the fault of the church or the church officers. It's my fault. That's what's right. And so I divided the Busan into regions and I plowed in and there were disciples waiting for me. And after I found those real disciples, I didn't even have to evangelize. They would go and find others and bring them to me. And because they were so blessed, I didn't receive, have to receive any other budget or support from the church because they would buy me meals and they were so blessed and wanting to do that. The many assistant pastors, you need to flat plow into the 70 regions and find these disciples. And the reason why you raise the many church officers is not for the inside of the church. You need to look out into the field and find your seven disciples there. And pastors, knowing that, you need to move the church system accordingly. If you lose hold of that, you're always going to fall into trial because of your position. Then when elders do a lot of work, some people think, oh, why are the elders doing everything? But I don't look at it that way. I'm so thankful for that. What's going to happen if they didn't do that work? If the elders don't do anything and are sleeping at home, then what's going to happen? It's at this time that we continue to support them with the message and prayer so they can carry on God's work. This is the way for them to live. 중직자분들이 현장을 살려야 산업도 살고 현장도 살고 후대도 살아. The church officers really need to go out and save the field in order to save their business, save the next generation and their field. And it's not difficult at all if you simply know this. The three systems of the church. 강단 중심. Being centered on the pulpit. 현장 중심. Field centered. 미래 중심. Future centered. 이게 that those are the three systems of the church. And so, because the pastor is proclaiming the word, you are worship centered. And 
Church officers need to go out and save the field. That is why you are centered on evangelism to save the disciples there. And we see that through the remnants as well as the pastors, we're going to achieve world evangelization by making these great parishes and world parishes. And through this, we continue to carry on the blessing of the throne. For those who think that it's not working, Moses said, I can't do it. And those words were right. Exodus 3 verse 1 to 20, he was old, he couldn't do it. But God showed him an important field. Then Moses, he knew, but because he couldn't carry it out, the God said to him, I've heard the cries of my people. Elijah. For uh, Second Kings of nineteen, First Kings of nineteen, verse one to twenty-one. That he said, "I can't do it. It's finished." That at that time, Elijah would not only receive God's comfort, but God showed him the field. There's many left, seven thousand disciples, and yet to find Elisha as well. That there's so many left. As I said before, in 1 Samuel 7, verse 1 through 17. That you shouldn't fear Felicia. You have to look out at Israel, the fields of the world, and see God's plan. All the people gathered to Mizpah. Look at the early church. Men of Galilee, Acts 1 11. So these were people who couldn't do anything. People like Onesimus. What could he do? There was nothing that he could do. But these people saw the world fields. And when these people saw the gospel and the world fields, they were most greatly used by God. And so absolutely, we need to seek this out today. The conclusion that we've already received all of our answers. So starting now, put this into action. That you open your eyes and you get up. That is your morning time. That whether you get up at 10 or 11 or 5 o'clock in the morning, whenever you get up, that's your morning. That when you get up and the time where you do your work by yourself, that is morning. At this time, do scheduled prayer because you're by yourself. And so deeply entering into scheduled prayer. At this time, connect all your thoughts to prayer so that you can see God's plan, renewal, and opportunity. And don't just pray, but continue to pray as you seek God, God's answer, um, opportunity, and plan. And renewal, and even the problems are opportunities and the answers. And you quickly renew so that you're not trapped in your limitations. I know I always talk about this. If you see the problem and call it a problem, that's right, but you get trapped in that, so you can't move it. That when you face a conflict and you sense that conflict, you're already trapped in that. That when you face a crisis and you feel threatened by that, you're already trapped by that. That's why you have to seek out God's answer as well as renewal and opportunity there. And so try this morning prayer. 
약속한 거와 오늘 갈 때는 완전히 달라. Then what was promised yesterday and what you feel today will be completely different. 내가 비스들 보고 야 내일 내일 이렇게 되겠다 했는데 내가 그날 밤에 가 기도하다가 응답받은 거 나오면 달라졌어. Then I tell my secretaries, oh tomorrow we're gonna do this and this and this, and then at night I pray, and when I wake in the morning, everything changes. 여러분이 사람을 만나기 시작하면 이제 일을 하면 하나님과 이때부터가 낮입니다. Now when you begin to meet people, that's your daytime. 그렇죠. Isn't that so? This is your daytime. 이 낮에는 보는 것이 있잖아요. And throughout the day, the things that you see. 듣는 것. And hear. 이거를 전부 기도로 바꾸는 거예요. Change all that to prayer. 이걸 보고 We call this continuous prayer. 자 혼자 있으면 이제 밤입니다. And then when you're by yourself at night. 이 밤에는 깊은 기도를. At night, enter into deep prayer. 쉽게 말하면 다 집중이지만 집중 기도로. Simple put, everything is concentrated prayer, but you're really concentrating in prayer at night when you're by yourself. So natural. 완전히 하나님의 말씀으로 정리되도록. That completely arranging with God's word. 여기 중요합니다. That's what's important. 모든 일들 하나님의 말씀으로 딱 정리해. That all the work before you, you arrange them with God's word. 아니야 성경을 많이 모르는데요. Oh, but I don't know a lot of the Bible. 괜찮습니다. It's okay. 사도행 일장 팔절 한절 가지고도 다할수 있습니다. That you can do everything with even just one verse, Acts one eight. 나는 이것밖에 모른다. 그까지도 다할 수 있습니다. Oh, this is all I know. You can do everything with just that. This is the only verse I know. You can do everything with that. Why? Why? Because the work of God's Holy Spirit is the same. The coming of the blessing of the throne is the same. And those who are older do this even more deeply. And so it's normal now that you should be living and doing the work normally till age of 120. That's what the Bible tells us. Like Moses normally going about your work to the age of 120 and going when God calls you, that's normal. And so we gain more power and strength from this prayer. That what you must always remember in our conclusion is what we spoke about in our introduction, having the blessing of the throne come upon you and then transmitting that. That's prayer. And you really just pray this prayer for one week, answers will come. So try it. That you're not just waiting for something, you are praying. Absolutely, you'll see things differently. You do this for a year and your life will completely change. Don't do anything else, just do this. And so may you absolutely enjoy this blessing of becoming the main figures for world evangelization in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you. We thank you for raising your people in this age to really save the age. May we enjoy the blessing of the throne that saves the world and may we transmit that. And we pray this power will come upon us. And we pray that it will be manifest in our worship every time we gather together. And may the blessing of the throne come upon our business and our fields. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Amen.